Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Oh god, it's even like official. Oh. 3X? One episode. You're getting one episode out of me. I'm not doing the whole week like this. I can't do the whole week like this. I think this. you should. No. I didn't. Oh my god, somebody really loves the Patriots. This is like. That's my buddy. My buddy James. He... But here's the thing he gives it to me. I asked him to borrow it. He said, that's fine. He understood the parameters of why I was borrowing it. He said, you're not going to set on fire, are you? I was like, no, no. Not, not immediately. I run into him and my buddy Adam at the gym mm -hmm. in the morning, every morning. So he comes in. And I'm, like, I'm like in the back section. I'm like, by the time my workout's over, they're just getting there. Right. So I'm in the back section. I'm just kind of stretching and whatnot. He comes walking in and like, this is like, he's holding it and it's swinging. Uh -huh. He throws it in my lap and walks away. He goes, I go, thanks, man. And I'm sitting there now in the middle of a gym yeah, with this. Tom Brady and I go, jersey. oh, uh, yeah. So then I kind of, you know, I, I kind of yeah. fold it up. And I go in the, I go in the locker room. One of the rare times the locker room had like four people in there. I throw it on the bench and oh. start to open my locker. And guys are like, yeah, looking around. I'm like, like oh, God. They're getting judged. Oh, this is, I can't imagine wearing this mm -mm. in Western New York. Like, nope. You do well. You won the bet, so luckily you don't have to. I can't. Uh, yeah. I can't. Not so much that. I can't fathom what you what your ideas were for me to wear that thing. Over the. Dude. It's gonna be glorious. Don't forget to hit. Ah, good job. <laughs> this is the worst. I underestimated how well, bad the bet was going to be. Bet. I very much underestimated the levity of this bet. That could be a whole episode in itself. <sighs> Man, what do you think people hate more, the top or the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you, this is not a, flashes. This is not a Patriots channel. You obviously know which one it is. But here's the thing. Paul lost a bet. He bet me that uh, the Bills would draft a wide receiver in the first three rounds. It didn't happen. This is his punishment. Yeah. However, he's kind of getting away with it because he's remaining in the car with the jersey on. And he's got a 260-pound meat shield. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> helping yeah. him out. Dude. So for this episode, this episode alone, he will, he will wear that. God, yeah, uh, as a Bills fan, I'm surprised I didn't burst into flames when I put this thing on. <laughs> Your love for Uggs is increasing. Yeah, I know. Saying. I feel it. I feel it. my hair's my my hair's gonna grow long and glorious. You no, you no longer gonna eat meat. No, nope. like a vegetarian. That's it. That's it. With the TB12 diet. <laughs> He's so not in shape. <laughs> Tom Brady is just there. He's not. He's not in shape. That, at that all. combine photo. He looks. Oh like, my god. His chest looks like a wet blanket. <laughs> god, I hate him so much. <laughs> I feel like I'm going through menopause right now. <laughs> Is this episode going to be a series of one liners? Uh, I don't know, man. Did you promise to return this without vomit all over the? <laughs> I'm not sure I can guarantee. I told him I would wash it, but I don't know if, if the, the Patriots logo would come out if I washed it. <laughs> he wore that, actually. This is not a game-worn jersey. This is a game-worn jersey. It is not. You want to bet? Not again. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a we got a request for a... Uh, we did. Speaking yeah, yeah, yeah. of Tom Brady and the Patriots. Oh. From Hashtag Nation, uh, Jordan Sinikowski. Leave it to Bullock to pronounce that one, right? Jordan Sinikowski, Q&A. What are the chances of making the playoffs this season with our nice and new revamped team? I think it's a good question. I think the team part I like. Uh -huh. However, I thought it was interesting, and I tried, I didn't count it all up. I was, I was planning on doing this, but I didn't count it all, all up. The amount of rookie or new quarterbacks we're facing, the Bills are facing this year. So are we... Are we saying new to the team? New to the team. Like the Broncos, obviously you're playing Flacco, but he's not a rookie, but he's new to the team. I mean, that's if he makes the team. <laughs> <laughs> According well, to Twitter, he's not on the Broncos anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. So then you have that. 
Um, all right. You go. Yeah. You go through the schedule. I think you know, it's we'll a fair exercise. Let's pull the schedule up and let's just it's see. A fair exercise per roster, because what we usually don't do a lot of times, we don't examine the other team. Yeah. We always talk about, and we're Bills are still at ninety, so we don't even we don't really need, even really know what who's going to be on this team. Right, but you know who the starter starting quarterback is often. So yeah, that's yeah, fun. yeah. For for opposing teams, well, we don't even know if Bell is going to be starting in New York. I know. <laughs> When John Clayton Enjoy. says it wouldn't surprise me if he got traded. How could you let McKagan spend that much money when you knew he was going to be gone? What an idiot. That's like a guy that purposely maxes out his credit cards and then claims bankruptcy. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we obviously have the Jets with Darnold, so that's that. It's the jersey. I can't help it. I feel like I have to protect you or you're going to die. <laughs> this is the greatest Sunday episode ever. <laughs> I can't. I, I'm i happy if this is 27 minutes because this is going to be worth it. This is awful. <laughs> right, go ahead. I would have rather you tossed me out of the car and ran me over. That's what I would have rather you had done. <laughs> All right, so we have the Jets and Darnold. Well, if I did, I'd get a flag because you're wearing that. <laughs> With the blood of my enemies. You <laughs> crossed it. We got the Jets with Darnold, obviously. Uh, we have the Giants. We don't know whether Eli or Haskins is going to be starting, but it's week two. I can't imagine. I'm not Haskins. Yeah. Um, no. Um, no, no, uh, Jones, Jones, Daniel Jones. Jones. Um, I can't imagine Daniel Jones starting week two, so you have to figure that's Eli. But... Um, Okay. The, the, you drafted a guy sixth overall. It's yeah. It's kind of hard to think of that he wouldn't be starting at that point. You really think so? I don't know. It's, it's, you it's, look at I don't, Gettleman. Gettleman has only had to do this once. Yes. And what happened? What? Well, start a guy. He only had drafted a quarterback. It was Cam Newton. It was Cam Newton. And Cam he, Newton. First overall, he started him. Exactly. Right. But the other thing was, we take a look at Darnold, Mayfield. Mayfield didn't start right away. Nope, did. he did not. May, Darnold didn't start right away, or did he? Yeah, no, he didn't. He did start. started. And then if we take a look at Josh Allen, he was drafted a, a spot right behind Daniel Jones, mm-hmm. which sounds insane at this point, right? I know. He was drafted a spot lower than Daniel Jones. Mm-hmm. And he and didn't he start was right there, away. And he was the third quarterback off the board. Yep. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Rosen was drafted four spots after Daniel Jones. He got traded. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, like, like I said, there's there's so many ways, different ways it could go. But new quarterback there, you can think eventually it's going to be. If we had the Giants week ten, I would say I'd be very Daniel confident. Jones. Yeah, I'm I'm still thinking this is going to be Eli. I really do. I can't. I just I I just have a feeling. I don't think Shermer's going to be loving throwing a rookie out there. So, do you think Darnold's just real quick week one? Do you think Darnold's pretty mobile? No. I think he. I think he's more mobile than I gave him credit for last year. You know, I, here's the thing. I typically think that USC quarterbacks are statues. But it's typically what they... It's, it's what, and Wisconsin it's linemen run. can run block. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> some of them are facts. Some of them are malarkey. But I'm saying that USC quarterbacks, you go ahead and look at the, look at the lineage of US, USC quarterbacks, how, how many of them could really run. You had Leinart who could move a little bit. Right, but Palmer couldn't run. Yeah, um, I, I was surprised at how fast Liner moved out of the league. <laughs> <laughs> he was left-handed; it's not his fault. Um, okay, so it was Munoz, greatest left tackle of all time. Oh God, it's the jersey. Yeah, it is. I feel I just feel the power resonating through me to say whatever I want because right. I can always just claim it as child abuse, and everybody would be like, "Oh, it makes sense." <laughs> Bengals in week three. We're Bengals about, in week three. They they're going Andy Dalton, so we there's no surprise with the Bengals. The Patriots obviously have Tom Brady. So so far we are in a the very veteran laden yeah quarterback yeah. Well, I mean, include Darnold, I no, guess. No, no, not Darnold. Excluding Darnold. But you played him twice last year, so right. you have that experience against. Uh, I mean, against you. Right. He's he's used to for two games. Oh well, no, one game. I'm sorry because he didn't he didn't play the other game. Right. For one game. He, he has faced a McDermott defense. I mean, Brady has faced a McDermott defense twice. The Giants, Eli, I don't know how much crossover there is. Cincinnati always seems to – there's the familiarity there. Yeah. So those first four weeks, realistically, what do you think they're 
they, mean, they, they win the Jets. They win the Jets game, and they win um, the Giants game, and they win the Bengals game. I see it going three and one. Three and one. Would two and two be a huge disappointment? It depends on where that first loss is to, or the two losses are to, right? Because you have two division games in the first four games. So you drop in both division games because that's a big deal. If you won week one and week four, would you be happy? Yeah, yeah, both both wins against okay, the division. So if you drop to the Jets and the Bang, or the Giants and the Bengals, all right. But at least you won the two division games. If you're happy to take a positive on it, at least you won the two. So division that puts games. you two and zero oh in the division, two yeah. and one in the conference, mm -hmm. two and, and two, two and two overall. Yeah, I'm th th I'm just trying to the play devil's advocate yeah. as like, okay, if you're two and two, but if you win week one and week two, and you lose to the Bengals. And the Patriots, you're not going to be as happy. But right. if they have two division wins, they're going to be yeah, happy. it's it's tolerable. Uh, next up, you have the Titans. I wasn't done yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. If they're one and three, is Dable fired? <laughs> Never mind. Right. I'm not. Hang I'm not. That's low hanging fruit. It I'm is. Not, I'm not it is. It All is. All right, go ahead. Next. Next up is the Tennessee Titans. You have Marcus Mariota. If he's even healthy, it's always a question mark. And he's and Mariota is not very effective as a quarterback. As a start, mm -hmm. so who knows what's going to happen in Tennessee? I'm, I'm I'm still looking forward to that game in the in the fact that that is going to be be the first true test of this offense of this defensive line. Yeah, this defensive front. You look at the animals that they have on that offensive line. Yeah, I mean obviously you got Taylor Lewan, you got Conklin there. Mm -hmm. you, uh, they just got Roger Saffold. I mean, that is a line that I think could be one of the best in the NFL. So now what you're going to see is you're going to see um, this defensive front, the front four or whatever, if they're not getting home with four in the first four games, there could be a lot of exotic blitz, blitz packages in that game to try to get through that front wall. Right. And <clears throat> unfortunately, I foresee Henry kind of trampling. Well, the plus the side middle. is that if, if you're looking to try out some blitz packages in weeks one through three, you have the opportunity, right? Because you're not doing it in week four against the Patriots. No. You, you're not. Wait, wait, wait. No, let me think about that for a second. Why not? Why wouldn't you? If you haven't shown any in week one through three, why wouldn't you put them on an hour and four? I suppose you could. I know. I understand. I, I, think, I understand. I think you're, first, you're sacrificing the first three games for the fourth well, game. Well, you know? I think you can get home with with – without having exotic blitz packages in the first three games. Well, here's my point. I understand, as much as we hate him, he does know a lot of the answers to the test when you blitz him. Brady, I'm talking about. So yeah. it's it's not benefiting you to blitz him to get right. to him. It's benefiting you to play man under two deep, force him to throw second level. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot day. of his mistakes happen. All day. Um, a lot of his mistakes. All right, so you have the Titans. Are you winning the Titans game? I have them losing the Titans game. I realistically see him winning the Titans Because I don't see the first five weeks. I don't see them scoring a lot of points. I know that defense rules the first six weeks of the season. And I don't yeah, think I don't think Tennessee's offense is good enough to sustain the last ten weeks of the season, let alone the first six. Yeah, I'm not trying to, I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to gain enemies here. I'm just trying to, to speak from this offense, I think, is going to start out of the gate slow. Right. The defense, like you said, will start faster. <clears throat> and I understand that. That is that. That will be my first test, though. Mm -hmm. That that I know no one's going to tout the Tennessee Titans offensive line, but they have three unbelievable studs on yeah. that line. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the other two starters. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, <laughs> they got rid of Quentin Spain, so I thought. They had I'm very better. curious about how um, about what that di dynamic's going to be like because the game in Tennessee is an away game. And you remember the whole Twitter battle over Tennessee Titans fans <laughs> and Bills fans. I'm very curious what kind of Bills caravan ends up in Tennessee for that game. I'll be there. I'm going to that game. You're not the only one that doesn't know how to bet. I made a bet. <laughs> I made a bet with Rich. You did not. Yeah, and I have to, I, I, I bought. I have to buy his ticket to the Tennessee Titans game, and we got a place to stay. And we're going down there. Oh, all right then. Yep. I guess. I can't some things either. you just don't know about your best friend. Would you have gone to Tennessee? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Crawfish and country music is in, in a Tom Brady jersey. It equates to my own personal hell. All right? So, no thanks. And a Boston cream pie donut. Yeah, you're seeing the trend here, right? <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so we have uh, next up Miami. You have Rosen there. Now Rosen's going to have five weeks to figure it out. You think Rosen's going to be starting? For the same reason you say Eli starts week two, I think Fitz Magic still has a hold Come on the job. Come on, no way. I think Rosen's, he still does. No way. Rosen's the starter there. Come, If we're talking week two. Head coach of the Miami Dolphins is a former defensive coordinator of the Patriots. You don't think he wants a more cerebral quarterback underneath center not making mistakes? That's not Rosen right now. Right now. I'm saying eventually it probably could be. He's going to learn. Putting him in the room, same room as Fitzpatrick, is the best thing that could have happened. I, I do agree with that. Um, but I don't I don't think by then he's gonna be starting. Okay. But well, I do give that a win to the Bills. So what yeah. do I what do I have them? Is it week six? Yeah, so we're week six. I got them three now. and three, I think. Yep. I've got them five and one because they're not losing to they're not losing to Miami. Okay. No, I no, I had them. Then I then who do I have them losing to? You have them You have them losing to the I Titans. have them doing a split in the first four games. I yeah, have so losing to the Titans. So yeah. I got them three and three. Yeah, I got them three and three. I'm at five and one. Okay. So you see who's making friends here and who's making enemies. Next up, we have uh, the Eagles. It's a home game. See, I'm not a big... I don't think the Eagles are... I, I'm i not a fan of the... I don't like the front office management. I know a lot of people love how, how he is managing all this. I don't. I, it's, I oh. don't. How? The GM. Howie Roseman? Not a big fan of the way that... That oh, Howie Roseman's handling Howie's the organization. A beast, though. He's scary. He is. I get it. But his first three picks, I loved. Yeah. But I'm still, I'm still. Chances we have Nelson Aguilar by oh, that time. Oh no, 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 no! But let's not get another wide receiver under six foot tall on this team, please. Let's avoid that. Um, so that's a Halloween game. Oh, it's not on Halloween, but it's October 27th. It is home. I, I am going to give it to the Eagles. Because you look at their track record the last three seasons, you kind of have to, right? I mean, you kind of have to give this game to the Eagles. I don't like the team, but I have, just have a feeling it's going to happen. What do, you, what do you think? So well, that puts me at five and two. Well, you got a team that in week seven, was it week seven? Yep. They're going to be starting to try to hit their championship stride. They've been there before. They've done it. Right. Um, we don't know if Wentz is going to be there. At that time, and I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying just, guy, history has shown yeah, us that he's not going to be there. If Wentz is there, I think it's going to be a dog fight, but it's going to be like a 17-10 dog fight. If Wentz uh, isn't there, they're in trouble. You got it's it, it to me. It feels uh-huh. like an inner squad scrimmage because you got the head the head coach in Philly, Peterson, against McDermott. Against McDermott, it's yeah. going to feel like an, there's not going to be a lot of mystery that goes on. Yeah. He's not going to pull off Philly, Philly in Buffalo. Yeah, no, um, I agree with that. So I, th- I see like a seventeen ten dog fight, but I, I can't. Let me that let me let me come back to that game after my schedule. Are you serious? Because it could be seventeen ten <laughs> Bills, could be seventeen ten Eagles. There, there's so much. There's, I mean, Peterson coming off the Reed Tree, and McDermott growing up in the Reed Tree. And there's too much things that they know about each other. I agree. Even though they didn't really work together. Yeah, there's a lot that they. There's know. a lot of philosophy that's similar. exactly. Yeah, so I, I, that. I don't, I, I don't, I want to push that until I get to the end of this game. Okay. Uh, next up, the Redskins at home. Well, the Redskins will be thrilled to not be win. playing at FedEx Field. Win. Yeah, the Bills are going to win that game. Win, 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 win. Haskins. I don't know. Could be a sweet bet, but no. This is the this is the theme that we were talking. I was talking about earlier. I mean, we're talking about Haskins. We could have. You could face Donald Jones. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um. Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. Did I say Donald? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to do that a lot. I it's am. just easy because we're Bills fans. It's just True. easy to dig up the, you know, the body Donald's, of Donald Jones. Donald's more talented. Sorry. I throw a football. Maybe. I <laughs> <laughs> got it. The Redskins are just a disaster. I don't see any way that the Bills lose this game at face value right now. But in your mind, if the Bills are 6-1, and one, do they overlook Redskins? Well, for... I have them at 5-2. and two. Well, five and two. I have five and two. Do they overlook them for the for an away game in Cleveland? <clears throat> I mean, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, Cleveland. Cleveland is is so highly talented. They're, they won the off season, okay, but yeah. in a lot of people's eyes. But good thing the Super Bowl isn't won in the off season. Yeah. I mean, if this game were in Buffalo, I would think a little bit differently of it. But it's in Cleveland. 
So I'm, I am a little worried about the Cleveland game. But again, that's a locker room that could just explode. When you have that many personalities, they're either going to go on an unbelievable run and, and it's going to be something that we haven't seen in a long time or it's going to be an absolute train wreck because these guys are just going to explode on each other. Yeah, so, if, if by that point, like let's say the Bills were 4-3 and three by that point and right. so were the... Uh, so were the Browns. Yeah, the Browns could completely. The Browns are in a done. worse. Yeah, the Browns yes. are in worse shape than the Bills. I agree with that. Um, I am going to give this game to the Browns. I think I would too. Yeah, it's in Cleveland. I, I'm going to give that game to so the Browns just to stay consistent. <clears throat> just to stay because I'll, I'll, I'll give the Eagles game to the Bills. Okay. Okay. Now we come, and they got the red the Redskins. So I got them at I got them at five and four then after nine okay. weeks. Is it yeah. nine weeks? Uh. Let's see, one, two, three, four, eight, nine. Yep. Yeah, right. I got them at five and four. Okay. And you yeah. got them at six and three. Okay. So we're 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 back on the train a little bit. Here. <laughs> well, the Redskins always write everything. Because <laughs> uh, I have five and one. I'm losing the Eagles. Uh, so they're five and one, and now they're f- six and three. Yeah. Are, are the wheels starting to fall off, or are the rookies getting tired? Uh, no, we just think? when it's time for the wheels to fall off, you get to play Miami. Bills are at. <laughs> Bills are at seven and three. Six and four. I got them. Yeah, I got them. I got them sweeping the Miami series yeah. just because that team, not yet. I mean, you do I have don't some. Even know if they're close. Well, anytime, unless the guy's name's Charlie Weiss. Anytime you get a former New England Patriot guy that knows how the system works, you're gonna have a little bit of a shot. Now I know I'm touting the Patriots a little too much here, but Bill O'Brien, Romeo Cornell. I mean, McDaniels was able to go to the playoffs in Denver with mm-hmm. Tim Tebow, for yeah. crying out loud. Yeah. Threw so, a ball, threw, attempted eight passes one game. Oh, yeah. He was two for 14 at Kansas City, and they won. Mm-hmm. So, um, that that being said, they, they know how to set up the infrastructure of their ball club. Whether or not it works, whether or not they're given enough time is a different story. Can I just share a real quick Tim Tebow fact? Sure. This was a meme forever ago back when it happened, but it never it made it to an episode, and it's completely true. You can go look it up. Tim Tebow's first minor league home run, and I wish I was making this up. Can't. I never heard anybody report it, but I looked it up, and I can prove that it's factual. I want to know why you looked it up. That because so I just had a feeling. You know what I mean? I just had that feeling. So Tim Tebow's first, first home run was off a guy who was drafted 666th. I wish I was making that up. It is that is a hundred percent factual. I have to find that one hundred percent factual. I gotta put that meme. Yeah, I looked up the day it happened. <laughs> That's amazing. Pro Baseball Reference. That is a Ding. trivia question. It's crazy. It's crazy. Six hundred and sixty. Uh, think about that. That's how many a guy. A lot of guys get drafted. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Baseball is insane. Every year they draft. Because like, there's four. There's, like there's four different rounds. Franchise. Yeah. Yeah. There's like nine hundred players that get drafted every year. All right. Um, so we have them uh, win at Miami. Now they're home against uh, the Broncos. Now again, we got the Broncos late in the season. So the question becomes, who's the starter? Like, right? <clears throat> you think Locke's starting at this point? I'm going in. I'm going all in. Locke. Yeah, Locke will be starting. I I have to agree with and you. And they're at home. You're facing a rookie. Another another young quarterback. Bills go to in my in my opinion they move, they improved to seven and four. But do you give it to them if, even if Fal- if even if Flacco's starting or yeah I would I don't I don't I have, I have zero I have I, lock or Flacco I have zero confidence in what the Broncos are doing. Um, only if the Bills shoot themselves in the foot do they lose that game. Yeah. Okay. I don't see them talent wise across the board. I don't see them losing to. Denver Broncos at home. Well, and here's where I disagree with you. Okay. Because I see them losing to Denver at home because then they have to play Dallas immediately after. Four days later, they're playing Dallas on Thanksgiving. Well, the quality control, as we've we've spoken to many times, is amazing in Buffalo. Yeah. So they're going to have their guys prepared either way Mm -hmm. as far as game plans go for Dallas and and Denver. Denver, I don't think you need to get too exotic. That's why. You could still plan stuff for Dallas. You're gonna be on the national stage. 
you're going to be, you know, you know, it's a... Yeah, it's a, it's just something to talk about because yeah. I know we hear the word trap game and some people say that they don't exist. I do disagree with that. When you only get four days, three days to prepare because they're, by rule, they're supposed to get a day off. They only get three days to prepare mm -hmm. for Dallas. You do have to look at that, or either the early game or the late game. One of them is not getting as much focus as the other. You're completely focused on the game that you're playing. However, it, when you're playing it, you're not focused on, oh, next week we get Dallas. You're mm -hmm. not going to do that. But there are certain mm -hmm. times where you'll have lulls in the game and certain things like that that will that will arise. And I don't believe in trap games because there's only 16 games. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got them, but I do have them going 7-4 and four into Dallas. You have you have now you have seven four. I have seven and four too. All right. Obviously, Dallas on Thanksgiving. Can we just say it's a prime time game? It's a prime time game. Seven it's and five. Th it's Thanksgiving. It's a prime time game. I got to lose to Dallas. Do I want them to lose? No. I, they're gonna obviously. Be, I think they're going to beat Dallas. Okay. What's your reasoning? Uh, Dallas is going to depend on uh, Amari Cooper and Ezekiel Elliott. And I think the Bills can shut down. With this front that they have right now, I think they'll shut Zeke down. Another quarterback. If you shut Zeke down, Dak's not going to beat you. Well, you got another young quarterback. Just because he's in a Post Malone song doesn't mean he's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally good with I'm, I'm totally good with the Bills just absolutely destroying Zeke Elliott. If he's not suspended by that point, who knows? <laughs> he's always suspended. The Ravens are at home. Now, the Ravens, again, the Bills have a pretty a pretty big time to get ready for the Ravens because they obviously play on Thanksgiving, so they have extra yep. time. Um, then they play the Ravens at home. They're going to beat the Ravens. They'll beat the Ravens. So what you're, what you're saying is that they go from Denver, who could be Frankenstein in the pocket, or Drew yep. Locke, who's, who's pretty mobile. Then four days later, you have to go play Dak Prescott, who's a pretty mobile quarterback yep. in his own right. Mm -hmm. Then you go from that to Lamar Jackson. Mm -hmm. Another young quarterback we're talking about. Run, again. Runs we're playing all, all over the field. Runs all over the field. I mean, if if nothing prepares the Buffalo Bills for Lamar Jackson better than practicing against Josh Allen, Josh Allen every yeah. week, exactly. I don't know what would. Exactly. Um, not, now, I know like a lot of people make the argument ones don't go against ones a lot. When you first start running some of them, your scripted plays, that will happen. Mm -hmm. You will have those guys go up against each other and do that. Um, plus, you could just put – you have 17 running backs. Just put one of the running backs back there and run around. Well, no. I mean, you drafted enough guys who used to play quarterback. <laughs> true. You, you know, true. You got David you Sills. Do, yeah. It's, it's David hard to Sills replicate under. Jackson. I think the only guy that could do it is Allen. Yeah. I, um, I, yeah you're probably right there. Uh, so, you're, that, that's the trend you're going. But, like I said, another young quarterback – who knows what state of the Ravens will be in? But they gotta they have to keep their their offense gonna be propped up against their running game. Not Jackson. Their offense is gonna be propped up against an actual physical running game. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they I know they got Ingram, but I don't know, man. There's a lot of tread on those tires, taking off those tires. Ingram has played a lot. Oh yeah. So. Uh, they're just gonna try to hammer it. And then when they're done hammering it, he'll throw a little flare pass. Yeah. And now they're going to try to call it a day. They're going to try to keep the game close enough so by the fourth quarter, hopefully their defense can win it. I don't, and that's they don't have the horses on the defense to do no, that anymore. No way. Yeah, I'm giving this one uh, to Buffalo. Um, again, you just have to, I think, at this point. So I got me five. Okay. Got him. I just don't only have him four losses. You got him nine and four? I got him nine and four. Look at you. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's perfect because you're walking into an away game in Pittsburgh. Now, Pittsburgh is the most fascinating one to me because Pittsburgh in the beginning of the season, the last few years, has been dreadful. But Pittsburgh late in the season, very different. <laughs> Roethlisberger will be retired by then. <laughs> yeah. Tomlin will be fired by then. Okay. And Juju Smith will be the leading receiver in the league. So you really... <laughs> Because <laughs> they're going to throw 76 times a game. But very different. You got Connor there, which is interesting. But yeah, I, over the running backs they'll have to face over the previous weeks, yeah. you got Zeke, you got you got Philip Lindsay, you got um, Ingram, Ingram and all this stuff. You got these nice running backs, you know what I mean? Zeke's in a class by himself, obviously. But And then you come into um, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. You got Connor. But. They're more for throwing. You got another statue back there. Mm -hmm. if, if Big Ben is playing, I'm just joking around. But 
If he was playing another statue back there, not as mobile as he once was. Mm-hmm. So, what like what do you do? I I see the Bills coming out with a victory, but I just see the the Steelers in shambles by that time. I don't even think they're going to be at like five or six wins by that point. I got them losing this game. The Steelers end of the season are a different animal. Doesn't matter who's there. The Steelers at the end of the season are just different. Than they a lose lot of other teams. They lose games at the end of the year. I'm just telling you, man. They're going to start slow this year, and I just see it being very different. So we got them both recover. at nine and five. We got them both at nine and five. I swear to God, if this happens, I'm leaving the car. We're walking into the Patriots game. Nine and six. You want to talk about Patriot? Uh, the, you can't at, be a hypocrite at this point. You at can't be Foxborough. You, at Foxborough. You can't be a hypocrite at this point. You can't say the Steelers at the end of the year are a different animal and the Patriots aren't. Well, that's I know, I know. It's the inner Bills fan in me wants to burst out of this jersey and say that the Bills are going to win this game. However, you will have given the Patriots fourteen weeks of film at this point. <laughs> and that's dangerous. That's, that's why when that's you said dangerous. Patriots, I knew it was at Foxborough. I immediately said nine and six. Yeah, it's dangerous to give teams that much film, but it's really dangerous to give Belichick fourteen weeks of film. As much as I, as much as I hate it, nine and six. And then there were there was one at home against the Jets. See, that's interesting because now I have them. They're at home. You're giving Greg Williams 15 weeks after you played him. Hey, week one. Yeah, after yeah. you played it's him. It's a totally different team. It's, it would be. A, yeah, it's, it's a totally it's, different you team. Can't, week one to week 16, you, 17. I know. That's why when people try to make comparisons of years, it's interesting yeah. to me. You can't even do that within one season. Right. So the Bills, at this point, are going to go into week 17. In my eyes, are going to be 9-6. and six. They're going up against a division rival. They've swept the Dolphins. They've lost both games to the Patriots. Mm-hmm. They're gonna sweep the Jets and go four and two in the division, ten and six overall. I believe that they're that's enough for a wild card. It, it's very funny that you and I took exceptionally different paths to this. Very different paths. But I think it I think it highlights the fact that this season could go anywhere, right? I, there's one thing that we agree on, it's that the Redskins are awful. <laughs> <laughs> right? But no, I think ten and six, four and two in the division gets you in the playoffs. I hate myself right now. No, you got. You have to look at your. You have to look. Ten and at, six is such the sellout, though. I know it is, and we talked about ten and six being the I sellout. I hate the sellout, I and I know. I know I caught some heat for it, but I just hate like it. I know. Ten and six. Like, if you think your team's gonna be good, you're like, oh, gonna be ten, ten and six. six. <laughs> <laughs> it's the for it's double digit wins. That's yeah, the earliest double digit wins you get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, could the the swing to me in the season is the Broncos game. It really is, because if you can go in and you can handle the Broncos, if you have a plan to handle the Broncos and handle the and handle Dallas, you'll make the playoffs. Just as long as you're walking in at 500 at the beginning of the season. Right? If you can handle those two games, you can walk through the rest of the season and you'll be okay. Yeah, the quarters of the season are very interesting because yeah. the first quarter... Two division games right out of yeah, the box. And then you get the... You travel in a little bit. But again, I'm happy to have two division games super early because offense... The offenses in the league just aren't really there yet. It's all about defense. So I'm happy to have a swarming, nasty, veteran defense. How many guys are new to this defense? New to the starting defense? One. There's I, one new guy to the well, starting defense. That's it. It's very interesting, too, because you think about it. No Rivers. No Breeze. Nope. No Rogers. No Elites. No, you, you got you, Brady. That's you got it. Brady. That's it. But you always have him. Yeah. You, you, have, you have that experience. McDermott now has four games against Brady. Yeah. So he, he started to get his tendencies, but like I said, a lot of really young quarterbacks, young teams that are just building. Like they seem like they're a couple steps in our, at right. least in our eyes, they're a couple steps behind the Bills, and they're all right. We just yeah. got our coach, or yeah. we just got this guy, and right. we're gonna go. But I know we say ten and six. And six. Oh. I, I know we say ten and six, but oh. again, there's a lot of question marks within there, and it's really early to try and do anything with the schedule. It's super. We didn't. I mean, the rosters aren't even made yet. We don't know who the quarterbacks are for three of these teams. Yeah. I mean, truthfully, we don't know. Yeah. But um, could you have know, three rookies starting, and the Bills easily could go eleven and five. The Bills easily could go twelve and four. Like the Bills could game, easily go eight and eight. There's yeah, very easily could go eight and eight. So there's a lot of give and take here. Um, but the truth is, you have to always look to at least split with the Patriots. And if you sweep the Jets and you sweep Miami, 
Well, you got You're five in good wins. Shape. You got five. You won five out of six, right? The other ten games, just don't lose the AFC games. Lose every NFC game doesn't matter. Right? Lose the if you're gonna lose games, lose the lose the NFC games. And I don't think we highlight that enough until we get to the end of the season. We're talking about tiebreakers and everybody goes, ah, oh, week three we lost the Cowboys, and that's gonna screw us. No, that game doesn't matter. No, you it have doesn't matter. you have the NFC North. You got Cleveland, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and you got Denver. Yep. Those are your five AFC games. Those are those are one? the games you have to beat. No, that's it. That's it. Okay. Those yeah, are your five. Because you, you also have uh, you have your um, four six divisional games. Okay, so if you go four and two in your own division, you go seven and two. Yeah, because you play one from the NFC, right? And you play the division from the NFC. So if you're able to go nine and two in your conference, yeah, playoffs. You're in the I playoffs. mean, if you're able to sweep your conference, that's tough. That's yeah. really tough. Usually, the Bills sweep the NFC. Exactly. Well, that's <laughs> why the Bills have been in such bad shape before because they get on these early runs and they beat all these NFC teams, and you're you're looking at the Bills' record like, oh, we're good, and then you're dropping games to the Bengals, then you're dropping games to you know in conference teams, and quickly the Bills plummet off the board because they know they lose all those tiebreakers. <laughs> we're six and two. Yeah, but they're one and two against the AFC. Right. In the yeah, division. <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a big deal. I don't think we talk about that enough, and no. we'll have to revisit this as the season progresses because it's an important thing to keep your keep the finger on the pulse. Because as soon as you start dropping conference games, AFC conference games, when you get to week 13, 14, 15, those they are the matter. games you're going to wish you're going to have. They matter. Yeah. Does that make Dallas the trap game? Because Denver's the AFC. They played Denver before Dallas. Yeah. Well, that's why I don't think Denver's a trap game because you're going to win your AFC. Okay. That's the only other game outside of a division that you're playing. Yeah. That's an AFC game. Huh? So I think maybe that you're right. That you know, yeah. yeah. You, see, see, it took me a minute. Math major over here. <laughs> this is terrible.